This is a giant. <laughs> Come on. Negative 19 degrees is what we're working with this morning. Spent the night in the back of my truck last night, meeting up with my buddy Dan at some point today, but I'm gonna be sleeping out on the water alone tonight. Uh, gonna be going after some big trout again. We spent the last hour warming up the truck. In that amount of time, all that I've managed to do is get the snowmobile started and get my ice suit in here to warm up before I head out. So, I think Dan and I have been catching fish here and hopefully today is no exception. Innovation at its finest. be asking yourself you know what what could Maverick possibly do that would be interesting on this channel you know camped on the ice already got a pretty big lake trout you know what's cool though seeing fish underwater that's pretty cool right I got a whole freaking solar panel out here got an underwater camera a giant battery to run it all day we're gonna see if we can get a big lake trout eating on film Right behind a boulder, damn it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, perfect. That's sick. Because they can come in, they'll have to come in like this now because they can't grab it that way. Yeah. All right, so if you ever want to film an underwater YouTube video, this is all you need. You need a solar panel, you need a giant battery, you need a recorder, you need an HDMI cord, you need a expensive underwater camera, and you need Dan. <laughs> all right, well, I look like Betty White right now. It's about negative 20 degrees. Dan's here. Yeah, it's cold out. <laughs> Probably about negative 10 right now. I don't know. It's chilly, but we're going to do some lake trout fishing today. Uh, we're on our sacred lake, the one that we uh, will definitely not disclose. Secret reef. Yeah, I saw some comments, uh, at least 50 comments, asking what lake we're on in northern Minnesota. You guys can keep asking, but we're not going to give it up. Yeah, sorry about that. But anyway, we are we got the day to fish. Dan is uh, Dan's heading back tonight, so I'm going to solo camp out on the lake tonight. It's going to be cold. We're going to hopefully catch a couple lake trout and... First, we're gonna go set up the houses and cook up some breakfast. Thanks to uh, Dan for bringing the food. Of course. So do it, buddy. Let's do it. So we got the live well drilled. Um, the reason we have the live well drilled here is there's trophy trout in this lake. We're gonna want to get a picture with these fish, but their health is number one, and that's why we drill these live wells so we can drop them in here. Let them reset without their fins freezing, get a picture, send them back, no harm done to the fish. Okay, so I drilled five holes about a foot down, and I just took the bottom of this scoop here, and then I just plucked it out and got some water in there. Yeehaw. So not only do I need to warm up, but apparently my house does too. It's like frozen together in some spots, so it's causing the floor to be lifted up. Ice fishing's fun. Whenever it gets this cold, nothing really works. Or stuff breaks. I've been trying to start my heater for like the last 10 minutes. It's uh, propane's frozen, so it's gonna take a little bit. Cameras are dying. Heaters aren't starting. This would be the perfect time to cut the lake throughout, wouldn't it? You got weenies? You got some turkey sausage, some eggs, some avocado. How did you get your heater started? You put a one pounder in there? I come during gifts as well. My heater finally started. Sometimes when your heater doesn't start, you need to uh, use one of those one pound propane tanks to start it up for whatever reason. Going off that 20 pounder. 
We got her going in here now. I'm gonna crank her up to high. Warm up a bit. Look at that. Dan's the man. Just a nice guy. How Minnesotan are you, bud? Have you left the door open on a negative 20 degree day while you're out on the lake ice fishing Lake Trout? A warm meal. Makes it a little easier out here. It does definitely help having a friend out here that also likes to cook because I wasn't going to be the one to cook in 20 or negative 20 this morning. Originally, Dan was going to camp out here tonight, so I was going to do dinner, but he's leaving, so I'm not going to set up completely right this second because I might move. We are going to get drinking. I'm waiting for my Cisco's to defrost, so right now I'm just going to use a tube. Thanks for breakfast, buddy. God, I just missed one. I just missed a big one. I laid it on the bottom and he grabbed it and I freaking that was a big mark, dude. I didn't even have time to set the hook. I like went to go set the hook and it was gone. Well, that freaking sucks. Just swung and missed on a big lake trout. Oh. See if we can get a, get another one to bite, but that sucks. Not a good way to start. It's like 11.30 right now. Dan's set up like 50 yards away from me. All right guys, so Dan and I just made a move. We drove the sleds out to a different point. Um, our other spot wasn't really producing like normal and we just thought it'd be fun to try something different So we're in a deeper place now. Uh, we're just getting our iFish Pro set up now and We're just gonna wait for a bite. I don't know. How are the flags looking? Down. It's like for me they want to chase for like 10 feet and then they stop but he was right on it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna set up here for the night Flag, 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 flag. Oh god, it is mine. Oh god! It did you see that? Oh god, it's wrong! Oh my Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh it's down to backing already, oh my god. Oh no, she almost spooled me right away. Oh bud. <laughs> you see that? Yeah, That's the first time we've seen that yet. It's gonna be a bigger fish. <sighs> Not good. My level one's really frozen. Not good. All my lines coming in on one side. What do I do? Un break it loose. I don't know how. Can you help me? There's like just a bunch of crap. Good spot. All right, now it's working. This feels like a heavy fish. When we came out here, we were running, and the rod was just bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. We haven't seen that happen yet. Just about spooled you. Dude, it did. I was down to mono backing. Mav almost didn't set this up, and I ran over and set it up for him. <laughs> yeah, Dano actually set this one up for me. I was, uh, <laughs> I came over here, and I was so discouraged from my uh, my Cisco being frozen that I gave up and went back over to the house and pouted for a second. Dan's idea to go ahead and put these flags shallower, I was okay with putting them in near where we were set up, but this man knows what he's doing in lake trout fishing. Bye. Nice Good to see you. Me. Look at how cold it is. See these freaking guides on here? And that. See you, bud. <laughs> this feels like, oh my God, he's dogging me right now. It's a lot of weight. 
Yeah, go do that. It's so cold. Oh my gosh, this is a giant. This is a giant. This is not good. You can see my reels lines all messed up on it. And she's gone again. I have not had a fish do this to me yet. God, I'm gonna have to hand line this fish. My reels froze up. I'm gonna have to hand line them. Oh my God, this is huge. He's right here. He's, he's right here. Oh God. Oh, he's another big one. My reel froze up if you can't tell. Oh, he's another nice one. Oh, he's another nice one. Holy shit. Oh, he's another Holy nice shit. one. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> Dude! Come on! Like, so good! So good! Oh, he's in the gill, huh? Can you pull that down and then we'll just cut it? It's actually not in the gill at all. It's just gonna see. Wow! It's good to go. My ball's filling up. Okay, right let's get him! All right, buddy, there's the release hole. Yeah. All right, that's pretty close. 38. 38. 38 inch trout. Well, trout season's not over yet. Dude, give me some. Yee hoo! All right, 38 incher, we just measured her. We got a new hole drilled here for the release. Got it all slushed out and scooped out. I'm gonna get this fish home. Just one last look at her. Dude. Yeah, buddy. Look how big that head is. Look at the right. lips. Big girl, dude. Show that tail off. Look at that. What a paddle. That thing's huge, dude. What a paddle is right. Oh. Oh. You ready? Yeah, you're ready. Bye! See you, buddy. Dude! Yeah. Yeah. Frozen. 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 I was literally just trying to set up my floor. Like, just trying to set up my floor so I could camp tonight. So rudely interrupted. All right, finally got my tent set up here. Cot's good to go. Charger and stuff. Um, it's super cold out, so I'm gonna shut the door and see if it'll melt some of this ice off the pads, but... I still just can't believe we got that fish. I mean, look at this thing. It's completely frozen. So it wouldn't reel up and then all this is loose. It's just, this is a mess. No good. Oh, look at those potatoes. You got potatoes going, ice part, glizzies. Part three, venison ice glizzies. <laughs> <laughs> those glizzies have cranberries in them. And wild rice and jalapenos. And all right, now all we need all we need is, a 42 incher. is for this this to like show a little bit of red right here. I'm trying to cook dinner and just getting chased 50 feet up. It's still on me. So that mark underneath him is a fish. That's me jigging up and down. There's Buddy jigging. He's dropping, so I'm gonna swing right past him. Oh, you spooked him. Probably nosed him. And just bonked him right on the nose. <laughs> Bye, buddy. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. I can't see anything. It's so cold out here. Everything just freaking is turning into vapor. Oh, 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 oh. All right, careful. My heater hose is right here. <laughs> Scary. <Skip. laughs> Hold it <laughs> off again. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was messed up. Cheers, Ice Glizzy.
Want us a nice cozy? Cheers, part three. Cheers. Oh, I didn't even see that. You do. All right, man. Sayonara, sucker. Sayonara. We're leaving ya. Be safe, don't die. Try not to. Oh, wow. Dan just split off. Uh, he's back on the road, going back home. And I'm out here all alone. Yeah, definitely alone. Well, uh, but talk about a freaking fish, dude! Like that was insane. Um, for those of you that don't know why, like why I don't keep fish like that, why we let thirty-eight inch, forty inch, you know, even thirty inch trout go. So a fish like that is around fifty years old. So. This is not like a super big lake. It's not a super small lake, but it's not a super big lake. And it's an inland lake. So every fish in here is responsible for the population of fish in this lake, if that makes sense. If I was to go and keep a big fish like that, that has the genetics in order to reproduce a uh, big fish for this lake, I could completely destroy this fishery as a single fisherman. If everybody that fishes this lake did that, it would not be a fun lake to come to uh, in a few years. So... That's why we don't keep big fish. If that's all the line that I lose, that's a win in my eyes. I mean, this is definitely going to be a uh, a fishing bite that I remember for the rest of my life. Like, I think I'll look back on this a lot. It's one, it's my favorite fish to ice fish for because they're so aggressive. And two, like, the size on these fish right now is just ridiculous. So, yeah. It was a good day. It was a good day. That was ice cracking. <laughs> Nothing's happening here. Heater's on medium tonight instead of low. All right, just set my alarm for 6 a.m. Uh, got like a smidge of service out here. Saw it was negative 14 degrees. So explains why you can see my breath somewhere in the house, even though the heater's on medium. Um, I did. Loosen the drag up on this, so if something grabs it in the middle of the night, it'll click nice for me. Uh, bag's a little colder than normal. Hopefully we can make it throughout the night without getting too cold. I don't think we'll have an issue, but... Alright, anyway, good night. It's chilly in here this morning. Definitely glad I have a zero degree bag, even though I had the heater on. My line actually froze the side of my hole overnight when it was sitting in the rod holder. So I lost that tube jig because when I reeled up, the ice was so thick that it just snapped my line. So I retied. Last night being like negative 14, 15 degrees, uh, we can guess that it was making a lot of ice, so it, it was very noisy. At one point, I heard a crack like come right by my head, and you could just hear it cracking all night long. Another thing I wanted to show you, too, I noticed while I was out setting the tip-ups is... Check out all the steam coming out. Isn't that crazy? Even like right here. Seventy feet down, I still snagged it. Look at that. It's amazing. Can't believe I got it back. All right, well, I'm all packed up. I'm gonna go. Only got that one fish. I gave it a good effort, and nothing else came out of it. So, thank you guys for tuning in this episode. Until next time, just keep on trucking.